Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Great is your mercy towards me. Day after day, forever faithful towards me. You always providing for me. Great is your mercy towards me. What is that? You're to the mercy. Day out. Ooh, I'm singing too long. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I want to give a shout out to everybody that's doing the right thing. Okay? Because you, you could easily be doing the wrong thing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to congratulate you. And I thank you because it makes the world so much better when you do the right thing. And some of you say what may be the right thing because that's just perception and it's just a matter of opinion. Well, I personally believe Almighty God put a mechanism in you. And if you aren't distorted, you pretty much know automatically what's right from wrong. You know, regardless of your religious affiliation, your personal affiliation, all that stuff, there's a little chip inside of you that lets you know when you're doing stuff wrong because you hide it, right? Because if you don't think you did nothing wrong, you know you're not going to hide because <laughs> you don't think you did nothing wrong. I have a friend named Tommy, and Tommy, I know you out there, you can attest to this. Tommy had, <laughs> Tommy used to work in the class with all kinds of uh, children that were challenged physically, emotionally, and we had this one girl, I can't say her real name, I'll just say Shelly, <laughs> and, uh, you know, whatever come up, come out. And not only that, it taught me a lot about people who are mentally challenged because they have a serious, they, they're not doing anything wrong, okay? So they're not hiding their um, uh, ill, you know, ill, what do you call it, um, just ill-reputed behavior, whether they plan with themselves or whatever they do. It's like, that's not appropriate. But they didn't hide. But see, we got some of y'all who claim to be normal. All right? But y'all want to get jobs at FedEx and stuff like that and then go dumping hundreds of people's packages during the um, holiday time when, when people are expecting their loved ones to get their gifts and everything. You done took this job now. Let's think about it. You done took the damn job, and now you out here throwing, dumping people packages in the garbage can. What kind of sick individual would do something like that? You just about as sick as the woman who took the 911 job and start cussing out all the damn people or not giving a damn what happened to the people that were calling her. She was got tired of the phone ringing. Come on. Well, did you check his blood pressure? Well, you know, I don't know when they're going to come. That type of shit. They had to get rid of her. Oh, my God. There's, those of y'all who are doing the right thing, I appreciate you so much because there are so many of us that are out here just doing any damn thing and thinking that it's normal. And I would like for this little story to tell you just what I'm talking about right here. Listen to this. FedEx drivers now being questioned in Alabama after hundreds of packages were found dumped in a ravine. 
We're talking between 300 to 400 packages were found last week on private property about 40 miles outside of Birmingham. The investigators say the driver left the packages there at least six separate times. FedEx says that the driver no longer works for them. The shipping company is uh, attempting to deliver as many of those recovered packages as possible. Now, can somebody tell me why would somebody even do something so ignorant? I mean, really. Why would you even do something so damn crazy? That's what I mean. Why take the job? Why? Anyway, this is going to be a short video. I just thought I'd say that this morning because these people are just so, 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 so gone. <laughs> That's why I appreciate the grace and the mercy and the tenderness that the universe shows to me every single day. And Lord, if I could just stay in my right mind somewhat, then I'll be okay. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.